The attacks by Hamas were a bloodbath. Israelis slaughtered or taken hostage. But at Kibbutz Magen near Gaza, the militants met their match. One of the things that I always was uh, thought is you shall never catch me with my underwear uh, in my end. Never, never catch you with your pants down? Never. I can he suffered today. shrapnel wounds and an amputated leg. But when dozens of Hamas fighters tried to breach his kibbutz fence last weekend, this 72-year-old former paratrooper and war veteran swung into action. I decided to, to take my car. I take a few a magazine with me. And I decided to enter as much as soon as I can to this group to shoot them over the window of my car. So you drove and towards the attackers yeah. and you started shooting at them? I try, I showed them. Uh, before they came through the fence? Before. In my head, that was the only way to stop them. In nearby Jewish communities or kibbutzim, Hamas attackers ran amok in a vile killing and kidnapping spree. But at Kibbutz Magen, home to more than 400 Israelis, the small team of armed volunteers, trained and led by Baruch, kept the militants at bay. The best thing. <laughs> his wife, Mina, at his bedside told me she has no doubt why. The difference is Baruch. Because Your husband? My husband, Baruch. 20 years that he's, used, he's in this uh, position, and every time that a lot of young people coming and make the same position that Baruch make in the other kibbutzim, they laugh at him. They said that he's a crazy. They said that they sp that he's speaking nonsense. Nobody will come. And Baruch defended the kibbutz year by year, and all the people s laughed at him, and he was. They laughed at him. They yes. said he was paranoid. He paranoid. They said it's not going to happen. It's not. It never will happen because we have the army. In fact, the Israeli army came under attack by Hamas too leaving Baruch and his team to fight alone for more than six hours, way longer than expected. Where is the army? They teach us that if something happened, yeah. I always tell to my friends, to my member, that we got 35 minutes of gold, gold minutes that belong to us. After 35 minutes, the army shall be here the best unit should be here, and etc, etc, etc. But they didn't come. Uh, the watches didn't work. As Israelis elsewhere were taken hostage, their communities overrun. Nice. Barak fought on, severely injured and out of ammo, armed with just a blade. I take in my hand and I said, if he should come, he should find me with a knife. A stubborn determination, his friends and neighbours say helped save them from the grim fate of others nearby. Matthew Chance, CNN, Jerusalem.